You got any number in mind? Yeah, but you tell me. Hey guys, it is Wednesday, December 23rd. This is the last day I'm gonna work this week, taking the rest of the week off for Christmas vacation. I've got 13 eBay orders to ship out, and then after that, I'm heading to meet up with my buddy Mike. He's got some stuff to sell me. Let's get to work. Okay, first thing is a puzzle right here. This is American Sports History Puzzle, new in the plastic. Um, I've had this for quite some time. I think I had it listed for like $20 plus shipping. I sent out an offer yesterday of $16 plus shipping, and it's sold. The puzzle's going out to the viewer. They say, Merry Christmas to you and your family, Crunch and Sarah. Merry Christmas to you guys as well, and thank you so much for the support. Okay, something else I sent an offer out for yesterday. Let's see. Here it is. This is Adventures in Odyssey CDs. I've had this for quite some time. I think I had it listed for like $15 or uh, best offer. Never really got an offer. Um, I sent out an offer of $9 free shipping, and someone accepted all right, we're sticking on this D-Rack over here. I sold this home alarm system. This is new in the box. It's a little bit older, so not worth a whole bunch of money. That sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a lot of books. It is on this C-Rack. I believe it is behind these shoulder pads. Yeah. So it is a lot of six Roger Zelazny. Got these at a garage sale about three months ago. I've got 10 cents into each one, so a total of 60 cents, and they sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Next thing's in B41. It is a Nintendo Wii game, Just Dance 2. I actually pulled this out of one of my bins yesterday when I was changing everything over and realized this wasn't even listed. I just had it in the bin. I don't know how it got there. Uh, that sold for $7.99 free shipping. Next is up here in A31. I actually sold two things out of here, so I'll just go ahead and pull them both. First is a SpongeBob SquarePants plug and play uh, little like handheld video game thing. It's pretty cool. You put four AA batteries in here and then you just plug this straight into your TV. Um, tested it out, works great. Got that from Danny and Parker, so I've probably got about $5 into it. That sold for $24.99 plus shipping. And the other thing I sold is right here Sega Genesis game Golden Axe 2. I uh, had the case, did not have the manual. Got this in that private pick I just did recently. That sold for $32.99 free shipping. All right, next thing I'm pulling is in C42. It is a Nintendo DS right here, a little red one. Um, this is also something I got in the private pick. This thing powered on fine, but I cannot get it to play a game, either a DS game or a Game Boy Advance game. I just wouldn't read them. So had to sell it as is for $24.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a lot of knives. It's like 14 knives. I think it might be up here. Something I put in before I changed inventory system. Here they are. Um, most of these were not worth listing before, you know, like on their own, so I did an auction. There was a case knife in here that definitely helped this auction uh, jump up for sure. Uh, these sold for $93 plus shipping. Okay, next thing is right here on the B rack. This is a um, little travel bag. I think they call these dop kits. Got these as part of a bulk buy, so I've got a couple dollars into it. That sold for $9.99 plus shipping. That's going to ask if you named Glenn. He says, I stumbled across one of your videos a few months back and was immediately hooked. I started reselling on eBay in late September and I've grossed $1,600 in sales part-time. That is awesome, Glenn. I saw this item and I wanted to buy to show my support and what you do and knowledge you bring to viewers. It has definitely helped me in the short time I've been reselling and I only hope to continue to grow from it. I don't have a store yet, but my username is cubbyman 98 if you would give it a glance. Thanks, Glenn. Glenn, I'll definitely check out your store and I wish you nothing but the best of luck in reselling. Okay, next is a bunch of Sega games. Let's see, I put these in B5, it says. It's 11 Sega games, so it should be right down here in this box. Similar to the knives, I didn't think these were worth listing uh, any of them individually, so I just did a lot of them. Some of them in the case, some of them are out of the case. 
Uh, all 11 sold for $24.99 plus shipping. So Sega Games are going out to viewer named Dan. He says, I started selling on eBay earlier this year and the information from your channel has been so valuable to me. I've definitely made money because of you. If you could shout out my eBay, I'd appreciate it. It is DB's treasure. Dan, happy to shout out your store. Thank you so much for the support. All right, next sale is a big one. It is this Nintendo cart right here that I just picked up from that private pick. Um, I undervalued this a little bit. I originally thought it was going to sell for around 200 but ended up selling for $274.99 plus shipping. This thing is just so cool. Really awesome look to it. And now i got to ship it. And if you guys are wondering how I'm going to ship this thing, I will show you. All right, first thing I'm going to do with this is put lots and lots and lots of bubble wrap around it. So let's get started with that. All right, got this thing wrapped really nicely with bubble wrap. Feel pretty good that it's not gonna break in transit with all this protection. So now we're gonna measure it. Let's see, 22, 14, 12. So I'm gonna go find a box. I think this one right here is gonna be really close to perfect. So it's 28, uh, 20, 14. I'm gonna see if I can find one a little bit smaller. All right, this one's 25, 18, 13. So I think it's gonna work. Before I tape it up, I'm just gonna do an initial fold. See if this will sit down in there. Look at that. Doesn't get much better than that. Um, now I'm gonna use a bunch of newspaper fill and fill all these gaps up because I do not want this thing shaking around at all. I want to get it really tight and secure in there. All right, it's all packed up and ready to go. And since this sold for so much money, I'm gonna go ahead and buy insurance on it just in case something happens to it in transit. Um, you can buy insurance. Uh, on eBay through the, you know, when you're buying your label and everything. For this, it should cost about $6, I think. All right, last thing I'm shipping out today is in B41. It is this Ford Mustang Shelby. I think it's a Shelby Cobra uh, from 1968 model car. That sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Let's go into a longtime supporter of mine named Carol. She says, I love the Shelby. They are very cool. I need that for my shelf. Still loving the videos and watching you score all that fun stuff. Don't worry. I know it will be a little extra time before I get it. No problem. Thanks, John. Carol, thanks for being so understanding. She knows about all the struggles with the post office right now. And thank you so much for the support. Really hope you like that car. Anyway, I got your variety pack this time. Cool. Hey, I we're like variety. We're cleaning out a, a HVC contractor. He pay, actually passed away and they've been bringing everything in auction. But this is so stupid cheap. Really? So I've got a lot of testing equipment that okay. I've got. I'm going to go through it, make sure it's working. Everything. Yeah, sure. But I, there's some of this stuff. But I went through and, you know, oh, tested wow. stuff and I said, man, this stuff's just not bringing anything. Um, it's so specific that people don't, you know, yeah, people at your auction don't really know what they're looking yeah. at. <laughs> A label printer, that's cool. Yeah, and I've got some more of them. Okay. I just brought you one. But like I said, these are like, this like measures um, uh, feet per minute. I mean, there's two people use this stuff, you know, I got yeah. some. I got some um, Oh, that's Pro cool. Proof I'll give that to my dad. He's hardcore a, coin collector. A big bunch of these. Do you? If you can, I got literally pennies on the dollar. Okay. Uh, if you can do them with some, um, those are really high end uh, bicycle chain tools, some hats, belt buckles, all kinds of. This is kind of cool. That's a, uh, that measures, uh, um, oh, I'm sorry, that's tuner for your instrument. You pull a little diesel well, battery. That's in different. It. Yeah, yeah. that's kind of cool. It's actually a really expensive motor. That's a rebuild. Uh, and it works 100%. Okay. I hooked it up to electric and everything. That's a very, very common used motor on uh, on Bell and Gossip pumps. It, like I said, if you look, it's actually so really, really well. Okay. But I did. I hooked all that up electrically. You know what? I was under being part of this company. This yeah. The HVC stuff. That is actually such. I mean, it's pretty expensive stuff. Yeah. So hopefully you can sell it. I've sold some stuff. It's actually so pretty good. Okay. Blu-ray. 
Blu-ray DVD. I mean, probably do something with it. Yeah. This my wife actually uses in her classroom. She's not in the classroom anymore. Okay. Teach anymore? Works 100%. Let's see. There's another one. This is an amplifier. I've got a lot of electrical stuff. Do you? Okay. Stuff. Yeah. I really want to just get rid of it. Yeah. Keep bringing it. Sony. Some weird stuff. Some filters. I never even seen you know, like that around. It was new in a box. Yeah, I put like 50 cents for it. Some kind of AM FM antenna. It's brand new in a box. Oh, I had you wanted three of these. Is this the last of what you got? Well, what I can find. Okay. <laughs> there might be. So yeah, I've already sold, I think, half of that one case. Oh, okay, cool. So, yeah, and I don't have anything. Awesome. This is more of a stuff, like I said. This is a awesome. This is a frequency that people are just brand new. Interesting. You know, I looked at the soul comps, it's like, wow. What was that bad? What is the on the box? Okay. Out of uh, Model T. It's missing oh, the last kidding. You can cut the, you cut the windows out. The frames are all in there. You cut the frames out and you make yourself look There's still glass lights. Oh, yeah. I have a lot of books. Do you? Locomotive oh, fireman. They're all oh, man. Books. They're all technical books. Yeah. But they're turn of the century. I bought a yeah. library years ago. Okay. And I, I just really want to clean that up. That's a cut, though. Look at that. Look at that signature. 1909. Yeah. Wow. But I have a lot. Got a cocoa block. Also block. Let's see. Did that Steelers clock sell? Oh, it did, yeah. I think I got 20 bucks for it. Oh, you got a mug? Okay. Mug, I got that plot. I'm going to take and turn things around. And all these Hot Wheel cars, but man, oh, wow. they've been loved on. I mean, the conditions are not great. Okay. But uh, there is a few. This one here made me sick because. Oh, wow. Old Red Line. There is Red There's a few. I mean, yeah. there's not a whole lot of Red Lines in here, but like I said, some little kid, he loved on them. He sure loved his cars. But you know, you got more in here. So anyway. Awesome. Oh, there's any reselling these things at all. The guy bought a whole pile okay. of them. He said, I asked him the other day, he Brown said, you want more of them? I said, I don't know yet. He, had, he said, I got 52 more cases. Holy cow. He said, I really just. Well, I'll test the market and just like the other stuff, if I yeah, think I can do anything yeah, with it, I'll let you, you know. You can have, if not, recycle them. And there's a knife set. Oh, awesome. I love 124 scale stuff. And there's more cars. So there's all the, uh, and you know, and it might not have any value. I don't know, you know. Somebody they might like it to pass it on. Uh, yeah. This is an old Edmund catalog. This is an old uh, uh, travel literature from the Oregon years ago. Oregon years ago. This is 1966 Ray Bound Oh, that catalog. is so cool. This is like I said. I just I hate selling it because I love it so much. But I just got so much and I really really got to get rid of it. And it's just so much. This is from I don't know what it was 1890 or something. Billiard supplies. Yeah, billiard supplies. Wow. The graphics are really cool. You know, like I said, you know, you just got to find the right person. Yeah. But it's, you know, it's got the cool stuff. I've done it. really well with niche literature like that, old ephemera. Like, I've I've, I've, it's old, an old beekeeper book. You know what I mean? Like, niche things like that seem to do really well. I got, I do have a lot of beekeeping supplies. I thought I'd get into it, but yeah. I want to get rid of it. I'll bring you some nice stuff. All right. Like I said, I, I have more of that. Let's see, can you do anything with that at all? It was in good shape, but. Possibly, yeah. It is in good shape. Oh, here. I think yeah, these bigger ones hold like yeah, four or five rackets. And... Interesting. Yeah, I'll probably try to sell it. I got into it, you know, years ago. And uh, oh, that's a real one. That's a good climb, though. Oh, wow. That is nice. Like, that's the old uh, spotlight. Car spotlight. Yeah. Man, that's clean. Yeah. Yeah, I've got several of those. I've got into a storage unit. Oh, shoes. Yeah. Are they real? I don't know. I just don't know. Because there were so many of them. Uh huh. I mean, there was tubs of them. They were slightly used and cleaned up for a bit. I just don't know. That's what worries yeah. me. There were so many. I bought a bunch of Nikes at a garage sale one time that were in the box and they turned out to be fake. That's what worries me. Yeah. You, if you can look at them, you, you, I mean, if you don't fool them too, that's fine. I just got a lot of them. Yeah. I don't, there was that, wor what worried me, there was so many of them. Uh-huh. That's what worried yeah. me. Yeah. Interesting. I know there's a way to tell with, like, this code. Yeah. 
the uh, 833497. Mm -hmm. If it matches the box, then it might be good. Let's see, it might not. 833497. It matches the tag on the tongue. Now, that might not be the be all end all, but Just I'll give them a shot. I, I know some people that deal with these a lot, and I can send yeah, them some pictures and get their opinion. You find out, like I said, um, Okay. This was really bizarre. I picked this up the other day. Oh, wow. It, is, it has some great silk. I awesome. bet, yeah, especially being cowboys. They have a great, such a good following. Yeah. So. A buddy of mine is a huge cowboy fan. I don't know if that'll fit him or not, but if it does, uh, I'm going to send it to him. It. I, think, I think it's an X large, but it looked awful small. Oh, it's a medium. It's all oh, no, Yeah. Never it might fit him. I don't know. If not, he's got something to work on too. <laughs> Here's some new. This is by Centos, though. So, I mean, oh, but, awesome. but it's, yeah. it's new. It's Carhartt. Carhartt stuff always sells. Yeah, yeah Carhartt stuff, Carhartt stuff. That's a new. It's still got the tags on it. Uh, Atlanta, Atlanta Hawks jacket. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, it was a UK jacket. I don't know how clean it is, but give it to your dad. Yeah. He loved that watch. Did he? Yeah, did he work? did. Uh, I put a battery in it, and it worked perfectly. Perfect. Yep. Yeah, just give him the jacket. Just give him that. He can have that. Look at that kind of a retro. Oh, it's that is cool. It's, it's, it's just got that cool look. Yeah. Cool that's what look. that's what they're all doing now. They're trying I to know. get that retro look. I know. It's still neat though. Yeah, it's cool. Here's more the Nikes. More Nikes. Like I said, I got more. Okay. Just find out, and if you want more, I get you more. Okay, great. Uh, little ball glove. Mortar, pestle. That's cool. I've got I love different sizes. That I guess, I guess. That's neat. Yeah, if you got more mortar pestles, those are neat. I think those would do good in the booth. Yeah, and I've got some more. Uh, I told you before. I know I've got. I'll wait. Wait a little bit. Got more uh, camping stuff. I know. Okay. Oh man, how cool is that? <laughs> now I hooked it up DVD. It was a couple months ago, and it worked fine. Did it? It's got marks and scratches. And stuff, yeah. But, you know. You don't have the remote, do you? No, unfortunately. That's all right. It'll sell. All right. Some of this stuff you had looked up, and you knew the price is better than me. So I have no clue. You got, you got to end of the day. Yeah. You can you can pull whatever you want on it, but you yeah. can find somebody to buy it. Yeah. You got any number in mind? Yeah, but you tell me. <sighs> I'm thinking 300. Uh, I was thinking 250. I'll meet you in the middle, 275. 260. Make it 260. I feel good today. All right. Because I really want to get this stuff going. All righty. And I've already started you another load. Because I really want it all gone. I just, like I said, I. I keep saying I'm not going to buy, but man, I bought another big load Saturday. I'm the same way. I know. I've got another thing. buy here in like an hour. <laughs> I know, but if I get it cheap, you know, yeah. all that stuff, I didn't pay really much of anything. Well, I appreciate it, Mike. Well, Thank I you so much, man. It, man. If you got more, just let me know. Yeah, in a couple weeks, like, is that how we're starting to another load? Yeah. All right, guys. All right, Mike. Hey, yeah, Merry Christmas. Christmas Thank you. Take care. As always, Mike brought me a ton of stuff. There's so much stuff back here. And it's always good stuff too. He, he has a really good eye, so I'm really grateful to have that connection. So Mike, thank you for all the stuff. And guys, that's the end of this video. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. Appreciate you watching. I'll see you next time.